You have been streaming to YouTube, Twitch, or Kik with OBS Studio. And for the same time that you would like to actually multi-stream to TikTok by using Tether Live Studio, because you might have unable to actually access to the stream key. So once you have setting up all your TikTok Live Studio and you successfully go live, but you found out that you couldn't use your webcam in TikTok Live Studio. It is because your webcam actually has been used in your mainstream OBS. So is there a way to actually go live on the same time with both? different broadcasting software and still accessible of your webcam and yes there's actually a plugin that you can use in your OBS so that you're actually able to access both webcam in the same time which I'm gonna do it for today's video that is I'm gonna show you how to actually set up Adam vertical and also how to use the virtual camera in TikTok live studio so with that method you're able to go live at the same time in both different platform without actually messing up your main OBS streams Before we actually diving into the setup, by the end of this video, I will be also sharing the pros and cons by using Adam Virtual Camera in your TikTok Live Studio. So if you found this video is helpful for a streaming career, do remember to hit that big like button and be sure to watch till the end. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So once you have done download and install the Adam Vertical, open up your OBS and you'll see something like this. So my vertical layout, I put it on the right side. You can actually adjust on whatever which position that you like. So the quick setting that I'm going to go through and the main in setting that is the resolutions so access to the settings gear icon right here let me put it a little bigger all right so you're able to see the resolutions under the general settings there just put it to 720p and i'm going to explain why it actually really works best for virtual camera and the virtual camera remember to put it on vertical all right so once you've done these settings here in order to use or in order to access the virtual camera in your tiktok live studio remember that you have to actually take this virtual camera once this is clicked and you're able to see there's a stop virtual camera which is already have been activated then only you're able to use vertical virtual camera in tiktok live studio so i'm going to show you how to actually use it so once you have done turn on the vertical virtual camera in obs studio the next up is to access it in your tiktok live studio so how will you do it so first thing add source as your camera add your camera source all right so i have my added so click on the settings on the camera source and look for the obs virtual camera Voila, and you're able to see that, yep, it shows like whatever it shows on your vertical layout in OBS, it gonna virtually use show it in TikTok Live Studio. So it actually works like live, no matter you're moving like on your OBS, it also move in TikTok Live Studio. So you can just set up to according the, the format that you like, or something like that, be right back, yep. So that you can actually play around. In that case, you do not need to actually mess up your horizontal mainstream by, I mean, probably streaming on YouTube, Twitch, or Kick. And at the same time, you're still able to stream it in TikTok Live Studio without even needing a stream key. So does it mean that setup is done? The answer is no, because we still have some setting lag off in TikTok Live Studio that you actually have to set up. The setting that you'll need is your video bitrate and also your audio settings. So just access the setting menu on TikTok Live Studio on the top right and you're able to see the live quality, the video quality, put it on customize and resolution make it to 720p and FPS 60 and video bitrate do not use more than 6000 if you're streaming 720p vertically in TikTok Live Studio. The best bit rate I can suggest is in between 4,005 to 5,000. If you do have a strong internet upload connections, you can probably go for 6,000 or 5,005. And the encoder, look for the NVIDIA if you're using an NVIDIA graphic card. If it's AMD graphic card, just go for the AMD. Alright, so once you have done the video resolutions, the next up is your audio. So just turn on the audio mixer settings right here and you're able to see the audio mixer. So microphone, add the microphone that you're using and the audio, probably your headsets or even your your pc speaker so just set it so that you're able to just go to the general settings and look for the speaker the audio source output that you're using so that your stream your viewers able to listen to you through your mic and also your headset but before we actually dive into the pros and cons there's one important important note that you have to actually aware that is in order for you to actually unlock the function for OBS virtual camera in TikTok Live Studio, you'll have to go live using TikTok Live Studio at least three times with at least 25 minutes and above. So once you have done the requirement, about 48 hours or maybe 24 hours in between, you're able to see the virtual camera function has unlocked in your TikTok Live Studio. 
When you're using this Adam vertical virtual camera, you might probably face one error. That is, if you do turn on the virtual camera before actually starting your main stream in OBS, it will show up this uh, NVAC error. It will be something like this. So it is very simple to actually solve the issue. That is, turn off your virtual camera in this Adam functions, start your stream or start recording first. Then afterward, only turn on the vertical virtual camera and it won't show the error. Alright, so here comes the pros and cons about using this virtual camera method by streaming to TikTok and using the OBS at the same time. So the first pros that is, if you're actually streaming to YouTube or some other platform either by horizontally or even by vertically and you're actually using webcam as well, that way you're able to stream to TikTok also even together with your webcam and the second pros that is you do not need a stream key in order to stream to tiktok all you need is just to register apply for the stream in tiktok live studio so one is approved and you're able to stream to tiktok here comes the disadvantage about using this virtual camera method the first and the most important disadvantage it leads quite a lot of pc specs and your pc hardware why do i say so for example that you're streaming on other platform with using obs and you stream to TikTok using TikTok Live Studio by using the virtual camera method. That way, you have to actually encode two broadcasting software and double the internet speed, everything by separately. So your GPU or your CPU need to actually able to handle that load. So for example, if you're playing a high FPS game, for example, like Call of Duty, Battlefield or Delta Force or some other like Counter Strike, Valorant, all those games, you will actually be facing a massive FPS drop which about 5% to 15% in between. So that is why I suggest to use 720p. But is it still worthy to use this method? The answer is yes. By using this method, you're actually able to show your fancy animation plugins or a lot of wonderful plugins that you have been setting up in your OBS and able to show it to TikTok live streams, which is actually quite worth it also. Um, but if your PC unable to handle the load, is there any alternative choice for you to actually stream to TikTok without the 1000 followers or even without needing the stream key? The answer is yes, which I'm going to do it on my next video on actually how to stream to TikTok without needing a stream key. I have been testing it for months and I have been working flawlessly. So be sure to stay tuned for my next video. So that is how you set up virtual camera from OBS to TikTok Live Studio by using Atom Vertical. And comment down below if you do have any other questions. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new to here and it actually helps the channels to grow. If you are actually wondering how to set up the Atom Vertical, you might want to check out my recent video i have explained it on actually how to set up download and install so i'll see you guys in the next video stay tuned and stay peace